Well, good evening there, and welcome to issue number 55. And this issue concerns the Aquarius Dragon. As you can see on the dates uh, prior to the video, um, those are the dates you have to be uh, to fall into this um, Eastern and Western Zodiac character. Um, if there's anybody 12 years prior to the first date I put up, as I've said in the past, you know, it's every 12 years this uh, combination comes along. So um, if there's anybody before any of the dates I've put up, or they've got a family member, just um, drop me a line on here, you know, message me, and I'll give you the dates for the previous ones. Okay, lovely. Okay, let's get started then, straight away with the Aquarius Dragon. And um, as we've discussed in previous issues, the dragon is a uh, very uh, competitive, um, is a bit of a lone ranger in the sense of, you know, they know that what's right or what they think is right. Um, they don't take advice very easily, in fact very rarely. And they're quite um, anti-authority and they can be a bit anti-parents when they're young um, and be very disorderly. If we ma marry that up with the Aquarian, well this dilutes a little bit because the Aquarian um, has no real wish to um, have a edgy relationship at home or, a, or, or a, an aggressive relationship at home. Um, there's no real desire for that in them. And um, being a little bit more aloof and a little bit more um, a little bit more strained really, it will ease their ease up on their parents a bit. Ever slightly, don't get me wrong, there's still a dragon here, we can't forget that. Um, but it's diluted ever so slightly. Therefore, when we find them in the early school years, um, they're a little bit easier to teach. Um, they're not so uh, disruptive or um, anti well, anti-headmaster, anti-anything, like uh, they will listen to their parents a little bit. Um, it's still going to be hard going, it's still hard work, um, they need to be listened to, um, so that's the real key, uh, you have to really take what they're saying on board, and it doesn't matter how young they are, um, if, that they will have opinions forming very early, or their dislikes and likes are very um, apparent to them very early on um, as we take them through the school years um, they it's not that they don't make friends because they can make friends um, and they can make them well uh, but they tend to um, have conflict with those closest to them as well so um, they need friends that are you, you, you would need a friend that is very understanding for these characters and very uh, willing to sort of you know, listen, be very good listeners. Uh, that's the, tend of the kind of friends they tend to, uh, uh, you know, bear out. But with the Aquarian there, gives it a little bit more balance, and they probably won't be so much um, anti uh, uh, parents so much as they get later on, or, you know, wanting to move out as soon as they hit 16. They want to be gone. They think, no, I know best. They want to go out there. They want to make their own mistakes. Um, and you know it may be tempered a little uh, and as I say and um, the conflict side of it um, you know not so apparent so hopefully you know they've, they've got that balance going on in their inner self and they allow the Aquarian which will ultimately help them and it will make them deeper in thought and more balanced in thought and also give their friends it'd be a little bit more even I mean the dragon is one of the most generous friends you'll ever find they're wonderfully generous they really are you know fantastic but you know if you're down on your luck or any friends down on their, their luck the dragon it's not a problem they would you know just like you were their brother or their sister you know uh, they would just willingly give it you know um, just that, you know whatever it is uh, easily and they would give it away they're not ones for saying or you own the X amount, you own me this, you own me that, from, I don't know, 19 blah blah blah, they would say, no, you're welcome, it's a gift, you have that. Um, that's why they are so uh, compassionate in those um, circumstances. Not maybe so compassionate in the emotional states, because 
you know, they look at things quite autocratic in the sense of, well, that's the problem, cut it out, you know, um, get rid of it. Um, it's not so easy as that, but the dragon finds, if you don't take their advice, they find that quite hard to take. They find it, oh, you know, you should be listening to me, I know all the answers, um, and even when they're wrong, they will stick in the mud and they will swear they're right. They swear they're right, you know. Um, there's certain dragons that will swear the, you know, the sky's multicoloured, it's pink, yellow, and purple dots in it. But they swear by it, um, and they will take it with them. They take these opinions to the grave. Um, they can mellow as they get older. Um, uh, this comes on to, you know, maybe that little bit of, let see, the grandchildren growing up or when they're elder parents themselves and they see uh, just how much they, what they were like and they try to, they tend to soften a little then but it's only ever so slightly um, they're still very authoritarian and you know there's a right way and there's a wrong way and if people are doing it not necessarily wrong but the way they don't see they don't see it that way boom you know sort it out otherwise there's problems and that's where they can be a little bit, as I say, pussy, conflicting, but as I say, the most generous, um, the most generous uh, combination, well, certainly one of them, that you're going to meet, um, you know, they will look after their children in the sense of if you went up to mum, dad, I've got this, uh, I've got this idea, run it by them, if there's not a problem, they'll throw the money out, they say, crack on, make your own mistakes in that sense, uh, they will be very willing to, you know, get that car for you, get that deposit on that apartment, that flat, that house. It's not a problem to them. Um, but when they're not being listened to, we've had this with the others, and the Aquarius dragon is no uh, different. Uh, they quite simply easily walk away and cut things out of their life. And this is very hard to take for some family members, maybe children, um, and sometimes, you know, um, you know, sc you know, school school time friends. You know, they've been maybe been friends for many, many, many years, but then all of a sudden it can go boom. They're cut out, and the dragon can do this. They have the natural resource to just go boom. No, I'm not doing it no more. That's it, and they walk. They're gone. You know, they don't hang around. They don't leave an address. They don't leave anything. Um, and that can be really, really hard to take for the people close to them or the people around them, you know. Um, and when other people around them are a little bit individualistic and they're a little bit, you know, um, spontaneous, they want to do their own stuff, it doesn't always go down well. And before they know it, they look around and the Aquarius dragon is gone. They're out, they're out the door. Um, they can have trouble with partners with this, you know. Um, they need to find that partner, as I said, they need to find that partner who can, you know, very much, very much understand this and, so, you know, not know when to be quiet. I'm not saying they want to meet somebody who's basically a dummy or anything like that, not at all. But just know, learn the nuances, know when to be quiet and when to join in with the generous and there's sometimes that very sort of all-consuming nature um, when everything can be great. You know, it's, it's the troughs and flows, you're going to have to watch that um, very, very carefully. That's, you know, that's one thing that, um, you know, is majorly, majorly important. You know. So if we look at the Aquarius dragons, the best matches for them. Well, the rat fits the criteria perfectly. With the rat, you've got um, somebody who will be ultra loyal and knows when diligently to be when to stay and when not to, when to talk and when not to, uh, they know this and they're also, you know, as I say, very geared mentally for the same same stuff, the same things in life. Um, so if we look at uh, the rats family, fantastic, and we look for the Libran rats, we look for the Gemini rats, and we can look for the Aries rats and the Sagittarius rat, all very strong mixes there excellent and and we can go to the monkey family as well because the monkey um is very good at uh 
you know, fucking off little disappointments. They're larger than life characters themselves, so they get on fantastic well in that sense. And they can have really strong opinions, so they can really work well. So if we look for the, uh, the Aries monkey, we look for the Sagittarius monkey, the Gemini monkey, and also the Libra monkey. Very good mixture. And as I say, the, the monkey can take slight disappointments, you know, when the dragon might be laying down the law and they can brush it aside and they can go, oh, fair enough, um, they can build, they can build quickly and they can forget, they can leave it behind them and uh, the dragon will very much appreciate that, um, you know, and they'll appreciate that they're moving on, it's progression and the monkey will, you know, gladly do this as well. If we look for the ones to avoid, well, it's going to be the dogs, any dogs out there are, are no good um, for you. And, and vice versa. Uh, the dog is uh, very restrained, but uh, very uh, stubborn, and also has to have their own opinions, and they're very neutral normally, and in a sense of fairness. And um, the dragon likes to get to where it's going, and quickly. And um, it will do a bit of trampling, which wouldn't sit with the dog, and um, they would end up uh, nagging each other to death. So we should avoid that one, completely. If we look at the health for the aquarium dragon, well we have to look at circulation um, problems, uh, but uh, being an active and quite a dynamic combination, that's uh, diminished a bit, but also, you know, look at um, maybe varicose veins and circulation trouble towards the feet area um, and, and the fingers, so uh, could be susceptible um, to uh, suffering in the cold weather, so um, the dragon tends to like a nice uh, warmer climate or they go on holidays for the cold for the cold months. So um, thank you for tuning in. I wish you all the best of luck out there Aquarius Dragon and um, please tune in for the next episode. Thank you. Bye.